Welcome to my channel and welcome to the weekly reading for the last week of August. And of course I got interrupted so I wanted to start it over but I didn't want to start the cards over. So let me tell you the spirit message before I get into the tarot reading, oracle reading, and energy reading. But the spirit message for the last week of August was all about relaxing, incorporating, and releasing. And they kept emphasizing incorporating. Um, and they were saying spirit message was sometimes no motion is the motion to take. Sometimes there's nothing to actually do. Sometimes there's things not in your control. And it was a time for no motion from you on the outside in any grand sense. What is happening on the inside is the motions. Think of deep within the earth. There are plates that shift. And from this shifting, outside changes are made. And that's what's happening. It's a lot of downtime, lots of reflection, lots of incorporating, lots of incorporating all that's happened, lots of incorporating your inner shifts, your inside shifts. So when the energy shifts in September, you'll be ready because of the downtime, this incorporating time. It's incorporating the inside, okay? So it's rest up, incorporate, release, reflect, let go of a lot, release the stress and worry and this quote unquote no motion on the outside and let it all go. You're incorporating huge changes occurring inside and from all that's happened so far. So sink into it rather than fight it. Stop struggling to make anything happen. Relax and incorporate all that shifted inside and no motion is the motion so you can incorporate it all. Think of it as release and preparation and sometimes no motion is the motion and actually lots of motion is happening because it's on the inside. So don't think that nothing's going on, it is inside. It's not this grand scale outer motions right now. Relax, incorporate and release. So I also just did a divine flow reading which I'm about to post for September how to stay in divine flow and the first card we got was change so there's a lot of metamorphosis going on and of course when a metamorphosis happens it's all the caterpillar it's all these inside changes first right before it becomes this butterfly this is kind of like what's happening to us there's so many inner changes going on right there's so much going on on the inside that's shifting our worlds right now and the cards that flew out I could already tell that we're trying to master being a power of control and order to our lives and it already showed me what was happening was there were a lot of conflicts and feeling cast out in some way some things weren't working out with others whether it was business or personal or whatever it was a feeling of being outside of what you needed and wanted um, not uh, and it's with the conflicts with others and you want control over that um, the last week of August it's 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 coming from a place of wanting to be in the seat of your power this is major arcana sandwich with this order and control and the magician where you're manifesting what you truly want definitely what you do not want is to feel cast out in conflicts with others so it's getting control over that and realizing that you have the power to manifest different you can manifest and what you're going to be manifesting is joyous um, coming together of people, celebrations, things working out. And I almost feel like there's a release of this in a sense. Um, you, literally, like you want to cast out these people who are causing these conflicts. I almost feel like if you want to really get taken, you want to throw these people, these are uh, whatever, out the door. Um, or any of them that are making you feel this way that you're outcast, you know, you're outside the door. Um, you're coming from your seat of your power where you're getting control over that and either you're getting rid of the scenario. You're not going to be cast out or you might be showing the people who you're in conflicts with out the door. You're casting them out because you're manifesting something different. You're going to be coming from a place where I almost feel like we're equipping ourselves with all that we need, all the tools that we need divinely connected to manifest what we really want are these happy, harmonious outcomes. And we're going to be letting go of these, casting out these conflicts. Um, we're not going to be dealing with that anymore. And we're going to be taking the steps necessary. And maybe that's what we're, we're assessing and incorporating right now how we can change that, what we can do, what's in our power, what's in our control, how can we manifest the coming together, yeah, look at this, and then we have this, this is abundance, this is abundance, this is success and abundance, and um, we're going to ma be manifesting different things for ourselves, different outcomes for ourselves, and this takes incorporating and getting into control, realizing the seat of our power, know that we have the power to manifest, and we're going to be creating out of this conflicts and anything that was cast out, 
success. Yeah, because there are new offers coming in. And then we're defensive of what we were working on here. We were standing up for what we were working on. We may be defensive to people. There's something coming into our lives right now here. Any clarification to this? There's new offers coming in here. It looks like we're a little protective and defensive here, but there's justice coming in. The Page of Swords. There's definitely new truth and new information coming in that's going to provide the justice. Whew. Wow. Okay. I almost feel like back here, we had to stand up for ourselves. Um, we had to stand up for ourselves. We were going in. I almost feel like, I don't know if this is us or... I almost feel like it's someone else coming in with a, with an offer. And we were highly defensive and protective towards it. But there's new information and new truth that's going to be providing justice. Um, I want to get a clarification of this Knight of Cups. What is this Knight of Cups? What's the Knight of Cups? Please clarify the Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups here. Oh, ho, ho, yeah, it was us. Okay, we were trying to create something. We're trying to give birth to the new here. This is Major Arcana. This is us and our horse going forward. We're trying to birth something. We're almost offering ourselves part of what we're really passionate about, what's um, filling our cup. We're trying to go forward to fill that up. We're trying to create that for ourselves as the Empress, right? That's going to give us this happiness. And we're really protective and defensive about this. We've worked really hard. Almost when you think of the Empress, say she's pregnant and everything, do you know how much time and energy we put into something to actually create something? Okay, so, but there is new information coming in here that's going to provide this justice for us. Um, and I think back here, there were definite conflicts that we are getting rid of this conflicts, this conflicts in Casa. We are the magician. We're creating favorable outcomes and we're going to be providing this justice for ourselves with new information. There's new information coming in here. I think this has a lot to do with us, our inner, what do they say? Incorporation that we're incorporating a lot. We're probably realizing where our tools lie in the manner, our divine connection, our divine tools, what we can actually do to change, bring order to the situation. I almost feel like a new order to the situation and anything that was in conflict, getting rid of that and then going forward, giving birth to the new outcomes here, literally new outcomes. Because the Empress is almost like that magician. If you're the Empress and the magician, it's in your power, in your control to birth these new outcomes, this new justice for yourself. You're going to be coming in with the truth and you're, there's going to be new information coming in that's going to help you bring justice to the situation. Yeah, and you're leaving the battles. That's the whole thing. You're leaving the battles. Wow. We are really coming into the seat of our power of control to manifest the favorable outcomes for ourselves. The things that we were battling with, we are going to be leaving those battles in the past. We're going to be forging these new outcomes for ourselves to create this new justice. There's going to be new um, truths coming in here. We're going to be very standing up for ourselves with people and leaving those battles in the past. We're not going to be putting up with that. I think this is like a closeout of a cycle of August. It's like knowing, yeah, look at this, the higher farm. Wow, wow. Oh, my God. We're leaving those battles. We're so divinely connected. And I feel like it's almost been a divine journey to make us get more in control of our life. I want to say in this reading is what I'm getting from spirit is that it's almost like we're learning on a very high level that we are in control of our lives and it's, we are the man magician. This is very important that we, we are the ones that can create this control and this order within our lives, right? As the magician utilizing the tools that we have to end these battles, these conflicts, these people, we either wanna cast them out, which we're going to do, or if they've been making us feel cast out, we're coming from a place of manifesting something different for ourselves that's gonna bring in true justice. And it's this information 
this new knowledge coming in, right? That's going to be coming in. That's going to provide us with this justice. And it's a divine knowledge. It's a divine journey to get to this, to control and to manifest favorable outcomes and justice, right? And leave literally the battlefields of these conflicts that were making you feel cast out. It's getting rid of all of that. It's creating a different sense of order. I know I'm all over the place, but this is what's coming through. This could be the incorporation they were talking about. It's a divine incorporation that you are in a place of power and control as a magician that you can create different outcomes. You don't have to remain in the battles or the conflicts or feeling cast out. You're never cast out. You're divinely connected. You're always the magician. You can have the control, you know, to manifest different favorable outcomes. And here, that's the justice. And that's also the new information, the new divine way to go. Um, I think that's what we're incorporating because that's what we want. We, we want divine outcomes and leaving those battles, uh, leaving them battles. And it's very spiritual here. Let's see what energy it is. I think this is what we're in incorporating. We're incorporating our power and control and being the magician to manifest truly what we want. Yeah, like we're walking away. Yeah, there are things that we're leaving behind. We're not bringing this into September, that's for sure. Yep, seventh chakra. Look at that. When I said we are so divinely guided, we're so, this is the divination, like your higher self. You're so connected, and that's giving you the guidance on how to walk away from these battles, from those people, from those circumstances that they're not providing the justice for you. You're going to get new information. I almost feel like that page of swords is your divine guidance. It's showing you the way. It's showing you the way out of here to walk away from those from those battles. So what's going to be the result of walking away from this? We're releasing a lot. You know, we're releasing a lot. We're releasing a lot. We're walking away from a lot. It's a lot of inner changes to be able to do this yeah because we're trying to create this balance and at the end of this we're creating tremendous balance that's what we're trying to bring in in the end of august going into september it's this full balance to this um and it's incorporating all the changes and everything that's happened and um that's what we're doing that's what we're doing we're not bringing this forward because we're coming into with the emperor and the magician that's um yeah just look at this hostilities hey jeez there were hostilities here that had to be walked away from and you're figuring out as the emperor how to get control and be the magician in manifesting a different look at this you can't make this up Yep, you're strategizing. You're literally, didn't I say that there's new information coming in? There's a new, you're incorporating how to do this. You, you are the emperor and the magician linked with the divine. Make no mistake, that was our, this was our major arcana here. Oopsie. This is so amazingly beautiful. Because you are the empress and that's the truth. Giving birth to the new conditions here. So we had the magician. This is, look at the, all the major arcanas. I mean, this is the reading when you talk about it, right? You're the emperor. You're getting into your control, right? Sorry, this moved. Getting order and control of your life because you didn't like what was happening back here with these conflicts, the, the, these hostilities. I mean, I don't know what kind of circumstances or people you were dealing with, but you were like, I'm taking the control of the situation. I'm becoming the magician. I'm going to manifest something different for myself and give birth to the new. And this was all made from through the divine because we also in linked to clarify this um we had the crown chakra which is all about divine guidance and this has been divine strategy to get you out of there to walk away from that and this is what we're incorporating we're incorporating everything that we're getting from the divine let me move this back so you can see it's literally strategy with the divine 
because they you are giving birth to the new you are the magician you are getting divine order here you're putting order to your life it's almost like end of august is like clearing everything away looking at everything that's transpired seeing how you can make it different going forward what do you need to release what do you want to give birth to what are the tools that you have right now to create a new order and it's a divine strategy and it's a divine incorporation of all that's happened of all you want to yeah and look at the end of this there's long there's victory at the end of this the divine's leading you to victory it's a journey to get to this there's a divine clearing out this is getting real order and a clear sense of what you have what tools you have in your life linked to the divine that you can give birth to the new conditions and leave all those conflicts behind I think there's a lot of incorporating what's happened what the parts that you're gonna take with you what you're not and there's new information and a new strategy so there's a lot of strategizing for what's to come and what you want to manifest what do you want to give birth to and it's linked with the divine and as long as you remain open to the divine information divine strategy um, there'll be victory at the end of it and leave those battles in the past there's some people to let go here there's some situations to let go here um, definitely definitely let's get some goddess guidance Wow I've never seen so many major arcanas here. There's a lot of work going on right now to get control, to realize you're the empress giving birth to literally new situations and new circumstances in your life. And you're manifesting this because you're kind of incorporating everything that's happened thus far. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. And that's where the divine strategies are coming through to bodies of water spend time near water such as a lake river or ocean to recharge your batteries yep there's a lot of that going on to rejuvenate yourself right now to let go and release some of those battles and things in the past and then that will help you recharge your battle batteries and get new strategies and incorporate what you need but just to let go there's a lot to let go i'm feeling and just to rest. There's a lot of inner changes going on. Sorceress, you can't make this up. This is uh, the same as the magician. Sorceress, you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. Yeah, that's underscoring the magician and the empress. And actually, it's all three combines, right? I mean, Major Arcana here, you're the sorceress. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. They're telling you to get clear, actually. Bodies of water is to release and get clear. Purify yourself, get clear. Because you are giving birth. Let's not hide them. You And there's going to, you are. And it's almost like a divine order to this, what's happening here. You're a magician giving birth to the new, probably sometime in September. Now is the time the inner changes are happening. You know when you're about to give birth, like all the inner changes that happen in your body first? That's where I feel like we're at. And um, so keep purifying yourself. You will be giving birth to new conditions and leaving those conflicts in the past. Absolutely. And look, again, this has been coming up again and again and again in different cards and different readings. Prosperity. We've been getting prosperity, abundance, divine abundance in every reading. The universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. Work on receiving. Work on you're going to be receiving. You're going to be on the receiving end. There's victory at the end of this. There's a lot of really getting control of your life, of what was not working, being real honest about it knowing where your power is to manifest and give birth to new conditions. And it's has been a divine journey and you're probably very divinely getting very divine messages and um, ways to go to do this. And they're seeing that there's prosperity at the end of it. There's victory at the end of this. Let's see what we can get from messages from heaven. Let's see. Actually, you know what I'm gonna get? What's gonna help us? Let's get some what can we surrender that will help us? Because I feel like the end of August is such a time to release. And we saw those battles going on before. 
It's like we have to let them go. We're going to be manifesting new conditions and new circumstances, new, new things in our lives. We're the magician and the, and the empress. Yeah. Surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. This is talking about the spirit message of incorporating. We're incorporating all the inner shifts that have been happening on the inside that will then give birth to the outside stuff. And we're a sorceress, which means we have to let go of a lot, which includes the outdated beliefs about yourself. We have to release them. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. I think that has a lot to do with the battles that we're leaving, what we're walking away from. Maybe it was people, circumstances, whatever, that kept us in a very fixed belief about ourselves. We're letting go of anything that came from the past to own your power and soar in the now. And not let those things limit you like in the past. Almost have amnesia. <laughs> a reboot. Clear out your mind of all the outdated beliefs that you just hold on even unconsciously. You don't even realize that there are blockages. That's part of the purification we're going through at the end of August is to get rid of what you put as limits for yourself. That you don't even realize. Honestly, we don't even realize. And um, I can't underscore enough that we're the magician and the empress and how this is divine. Because whatever new conditions and things, the changes that are going on inside are going to give way to the, to the outside changes. Because again, we got this before, com surrender to complete healing, open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. That's a lot of what we're doing right now. We got bodies of water to purify yourself. August is about letting go and releasing all that's not going to help you give birth to these new conditions that don't empower you to be the magician, all that, that, or even the emperor fully in control of your life and putting limits on other people of what they can do in your life, you know, like walking away from that, surrender your ego, yes. Cultivate gratitude, be of service to others, and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. <sighs> Release your ego. Release everything. Release your ego. Be of service. And here we go. This is very similar to that five of pentacles. Surrender your belief in scarcity. Scarcity. The universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. This also reminds me of back here when we got, I know I'm doing this all over the place, but back here, this cast out and this this is like believing in scarcity whether it's coming from inside you or outside scarcity is when you're cast out you're, you you don't have what you need and want you can't go inside the church to be warm i mean it's like there's not enough and your conflicts with other people they could be making you feel to believe in scarcity like why do you have to even entertain them anymore there's enough for everybody you're there's enough for we can all succeed and we're, there's enough for everybody and um don't believe in scarcity don't believe in scarcity. Do not believe in scarcity. There's enough for you and everyone is asking you to open up to the infinite nature of abundance. And here was the prosperity. You know, you're a sorcerer. I mean, it's really just remain humble. This was the surrender your ego. Cultivate gratitude, be of service to others and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. It's also very hard, you know, if you've been hurt and you're cycling around in these cast out battles, right? It's very hard. Your ego sometimes does things to thinking it's protecting you, but it's not. And you have to release those beliefs. Release all that crap. Release all the stories you tell yourself. Release the belief in scarcity. Release the outdated beliefs in yourself. And getting more control and being the magician and creating those new situations and, and, and everything that's going to fulfill you and bring the prosperity. It's divine prosperity. Is there anything else we need to surrender? I felt like they needed to say a lot. Surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. Yeah, a lot of August is going to be rejuvenating and and almost just losing yourself in the beauty of the natural world to reboot yourself. I mean, we've gotten that several times in several things. Here we have bodies of water. 
There's a lot of release going on. There's a lot of release. Release the outdated beliefs. Release your ego that sometimes is just so fearful. It's so fearful and insecure and acts in really bad ways. You're not cast out. You're not stuck in these cycles of conflicts with others or yourself. Open yourself up to divine to divine connection because here's your divine connection right here that's helping you get the control of your life that's helping you be the magician we're really walking away from a lot of battles internally and out um, it's really a cleansing time right now and I think that's what they're asking to incorporate incorporate that you have access to this prosperity you can leave these battles in the past. This has been coming up over and over and over again. Internal battles or outside battles have to go and release that belief in scarcity. Um, you know, whether it's, you know, it could be people or situations that have you going round and round and round and you feel like you're stuck, but there's no scarcity. You can find better somewhere else. Or in yourself, it's like, you can succeed, you're free to succeed, you're free to create whatever you wanna create. Where was that empress? That empress was giving birth. I mean, you're giving birth, you're the sorceress. Name it, this was going all over the place, but you know, in different cards, it's saying the same thing. You're the empress, the magician, you're in control, you're divinely connected, you're creating this prosperity. We definitely have to re release a lot. And I think the end of August is a lot of releasing. We're going through this like little metamorphosis of our own, almost like coming to a new level of power within ourselves to create and manifest. And we have to get rid of the last remnants of crap that I think that still gets in our way. What's your spirit messages for the last week? Like I said, it's a lot of incorporation and release. It's a lot of release. You might want to, like that card said, go to nature, go to nature here and go to bodies of water, wherever that was. It was like bodies of water, go to bodies of water. And um, so you might be going near bodies of water to release and just rest and reflect and reboot yourself to become back as the new emperor and magician and empress to give birth to those divine new things in September that's going to give you this divine abundance. You don't want anything getting in your way. So I think we're getting rid of the crumbs of crap that we still have. You know, like it said, surrender to com complete healing back there. Um, we, you know, whenever we think we're done, we're never done. It's just amazing. You know, it's just really amazing. And I think that's what we're incorporating. When they were saying you might not be seeing such outside motion right now, a lot of it is inside motion and it's just as important, if not more, because whatever you're releasing is paving way, it won't get in your way down the line, right? And so, or whatever new epiphany or new strategy you get, it's definitely gonna help you the way forward to give birth down the line too. So this downtime of rest incorporating that, that they kept saying is just so important right now that it's gonna position you. It's almost like correctly position you to give birth. That's what I feel. Wow. It's correctly positioning you to give birth. That's how we have to look at it, I guess, because it's a little uncomfortable. I do have to say, all this inner stuff, it's a little uncomfortable. Okay, what are the spirit messages from those that have passed on, our loved ones that have passed on? What are the messages? Ooh. We got this before. Problems that have held you back are being cleared. We're monitoring it. Yep. That's been happening. That's, oh, yes. Go out and plant new life seeds. So for your future, yeah, that's what's going to be happening. They're prepping you up. It's almost like make a wish again. Um, keep going forward. Go out and plant those new life seeds. That's what the seeds were the empress giving birth. We planted a seed. We have seeds that we're going to be manifesting. Um, this is what's happening and it will grow. The, the things that have held you back are being cleared. So don't think if they're not sprouting right now, they will. Plant the seeds, plant the seeds. And that's also like towing your insides too, sowing your insides, getting rid of what you don't need in your garden anymore. You know, pulling out those weeds. What do you want to see growing? Um, going back to our insides, all the inside shifts that are happening right now that we're incorporating, you know, making sure you have the proper soil for everything. And look, don't rush into making big decisions right now. Take your time. What did I say? Last week of August, there's no big outer 
movements. It's all inner stuff. It's taking your time. It's incorporating everything that's happened. It's getting the order and control, manifesting abilities back. You're the empress. You're going to be giving birth to new things. It's all these inner changes. Um, don't rush into making any big decisions. Just rest and take your time. Incorporate, rest, reflect. Strat we got the strategy card and then we got these two things. Yeah, and I was about to name this pamper yourself because last night they were like pamper yourself, pamper yourself. This is so funny. We're easing the block.